13 Action News Update sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. I'm Kalina Estrino of Sim right now in your 13 Action News Update. Several major tech companies are pulling out of CES, citing COVID concerns. T-Mobile's CEO was set to give a keynote speech next month here in Las Vegas, but that changed when his company, Facebook, Amazon, and Twitter all announced they won't be attending in person. CES attracts more than 180,000 people to the Valley. Last year, that show went virtual, which is a move that costs our local economy as much as $300 million. The FDA has authorized a new COVID treatment pill. Merck says its pill has a 30% success rate, while Pfizer reports having a 90% rate. But the CEO of Pfizer says this is not a pill to prevent COVID. This is more so meant to treat the virus to lower hospitalizations and death rates. He says the vaccine is still the primary tool through the pandemic. Student loan payments now paused until May 1st. President Biden says interest rates will remain at 0% during that time period and attempts to collect debt will be suspended. Federal authorities froze payments for the past two years because of the pandemic. And student loan debt in the U.S. now more than $1.7 trillion and a third of borrowers are behind on their payments. I'm meteorologist Gina Cancellari. High temperatures today in the mid to upper 50s. Some neighborhoods could see 60 degrees. Laughlin, the hot spot, 68 degrees expected for a high temperature today with clouds around. And the clouds will stick around as we move through the day today. Then as we move through the uh, tomorrow, the possibility of a few isolated showers. If you see one, consider yourself lucky. So that's for our Thursday. Then as we move into Friday, still the rain chance will continue in the valley. Maybe two or three more raindrops as opposed to Thursday maybe one or two. Then as we move into Saturday, things will dry out, but the clouds are sticking around and we have a possibility of snow up to the north, just not going to happen here in the valley. If you are going to be though at Mount Charleston, you may see a few snow showers fly around as we head into the next uh, couple of days, actually. Then as we move into the upcoming weekend, ooh, it's going to be pretty much the same. Expect the wind to continue. Expect the wind to be around really for the next couple of days too. So here we go. The seven day forecast high temperature today close to 60 as we move into the next couple of days. Rain chances increase. The wind will be around and the clouds stick around too. This carries us through the upcoming new year. Kalina. All right, Gina, thank you. And that was your 13 action news update. You can find more on our website, ktv.com and our free mobile app.